Hey, Bio 120. So next, for lab two, we are going to be moving on from making our three different kinds of auger plates. Hopefully that was a success. And we're going to make uh, some TAE buffer. And again, this buffer, like the plates, we're not going to use right away, but we're going to make it now and keep it for lab four that we'll do in a couple weeks. Uh, but you've done the calculations for this buffer last week. And so, what we're going to be doing this in is uh, a 50 mil conical tube, 5 0. Uh, 50 mil conical tube that usually has a blue top or an orange top, uh, and they're screw capped. Now, on this, you have uh, a little white panel, and on that white panel, you can label the tube. Uh, you'll notice that I've labeled mine 50XTAE, I've got my initials and the date all on there. Remember, all three of those bits of information need to be on. Uh, everything that we make in this lab. So with that tube labeled, uh, we're going to add our ingredients. They're going to be tris powder, uh, acetic acid, and EDTA. Uh, and then, so we'll use our scales to uh, measure out our tris powder, maybe in a, a, a bottle like this or maybe in some other container, pay attention to the labels. Uh, I've measured mine out in my weigh boat. So I'm just going to add that to my Falcon tube. Okay. Next, I am going to add my acetic acid. Remember, pay attention to your lab handout as to what concentration of acetic acid you should be using, and pay attention to the calculations as to how much of this you should be adding. Okay. Trust my acetic acid. And my EDTA. Lastly, we're going to add our water up to 10 mils. So you'll notice on the side, hopefully you can see it there in the video, that you have graduations on the side of your 50 mil conical tube. And so you can just add water now, sterile water, to 10 mils, which should be about where my right finger is. And we can do that by just pouring some in. Okay, so then you just swirl your tube a bit, wait for your tris powder to dissolve, and then you'll have 50x TAE. And remember, we're going to hang on to that for a couple weeks until we use it in lab four. So put that in your drawer. Make sure it's, it's labeled well, again, with the solution that it contains, 50XTAE, your initials, and the date. And then once you're done with that, you'll streak a bacterial plate. And there's another video for you to watch on how to do that.